We explained why it is important to write a mission, vision, and value statement. Now let's talk about how to do it in eight easy steps. Step number one, gather church leadership. Those responsible for the church should participate in the development of the mission, vision, and value statement. Identify a leadership team who care about the ministry and have responsibility for the church. Step number two, identify a suitable location to meet. The ideal location for this is a retreat type setting, a private room in a restaurant, a hotel conference room, or someone's home. It simply needs to be a place without interruptions and distractions. Step three, solicit help from an objective facilitator. Identify someone who can facilitate the process and keep the group focused on the task at hand, creating a mission, vision, and value statement. Step number four, dream out loud. Use whiteboards or flip charts because a visual helps to spark thoughts and ideas. Have the team discuss and answer the following questions. Why do we exist? What is our purpose? What demographic are we trying to reach? What kind of church do we want to become? Where do we hope to be one, five, and ten years from now? Step number five, create the vision statement. Create a newspaper headline that articulates something the church has accomplished at some point in time. This step helps the group visualize the future. Combine all of the thoughts and ideas and begin to create the vision statement. Do not spend time making it a perfect sentence. Focus on the message. Allow all the participants to add or subtract words and begin to form the sentence structure of the statement. Have a laptop available to use a thesaurus and dictionary as references. Step number six, test the vision statement. Read the statement and determine whether the entire group agrees that the statement reflects a common direction and describes a picture of an ideal future state of the church. If time is limited, ask a subgroup to fine-tune the statement for review at the next meeting of the group. Step number seven, create the mission statement. Once the vision statement is complete, do a similar exercise to come up with a mission statement. Remember, a mission statement is a short description of why the organization exists. Spend some time writing down descriptive words for why the church exists. After all the ideas are on the flip chart, begin to wordsmith the ideas until the group creates a descriptive short phrase. Make sure the entire group agrees that the phrase truly reflects the church's mission and describes why it exists. Step number eight, create the value statement. Once there is a vision and mission statement, break the group into units again and allow some time to make a list of values. The word value is defined as a principle, standard or quality considered worthwhile or desirable. Keep in mind, these values will become principles the organization operates by. Ideally, a list of values should be five to 10 words. In summary, one, gather church leadership. Two, identify a suitable location to meet. Three, solicit help from an objective facilitator. Four, dream out loud. Five, create the vision statement. Six, test the vision statement. Seven, create the mission statement. Eight, create the value statement. Many churches fail to come up with a vision, mission, and value statement because the process scares them. But with the right people in the room, it can be done in a few short hours.